Hey, what's up guys? So today in this video I'm going to talk about a new script that I added in my fishbait repository in GitHub called Bing Scraper. And so essentially what this is going to do is it's going to enter a very specific uh, syntax request into the Bing search engine. Um, I've got a sample here. And basically what this is going to do is look for public LinkedIn profiles associated with a particular company. And by doing so, we can then get full names of employees who have self-disclosed that they are associated with that company. In this case, in the example provided here, we're looking at Comcast. So what we can do is with a combination of these self-disclosed names of people that are associated with that company, and if we can identify the naming convention for the email addresses for internal employees, we can use the combination of those two pieces of information to pretty much compose a massive list of email addresses that can then be used in a phishing attack against that particular company. Um, obviously, within the context of a legal penetration test. Um, so anyways, uh, we'll go over to our repo, copy that, and then uh, actually before I continue, real quick, uh, probably worth mentioning, um, I did a full overhaul of the Short Bus Ninja Security blog, so if you haven't checked that out already, please go over there and do so. Um, okay, so now let's uh, get clone the repository, and then change directory into it. And then we'll launch the tool. And what you can see is here we have a variety of different common formats for email addresses. Um, first name dot last name at the domain name, first name dot or first name last name at the domain, um, first initial last name or first name underscore last name. Um, and this is pretty extensible. If you go into the actual source code of the Python script, it's, it's pretty easy to add new functions uh, for any given um, email format if you wanted to add your own. Uh, so first, before we launch this tool, we need to identify, so we've already got our example target of Comcast. Um, what we need to identify is the email structure for internal Comcast emails. So to do that, so I'm not reinventing the wheel, we'll use a tool that already exists called the Harvester. Now if you're using Kali Linux, this is already installed on there. Um, however, since I'm using Ubuntu, we'll just git clone this into our git repository real quick. So we'll copy it and then move back to our git directory and then git clone and the repo location and then change directory into it. Okay, and then we'll run it. Oh, let's change it to executable. Then, so by running it, we get the quick description of the usage, and then we will do the domain of Comcast.com and then source of all and then run that real quick and what the harvester will do is it's basically going to scrape the websites associated with that domain to find any publicly accessible email addresses that are on those web domains. So by scraping the limited number of email addresses that are on their publicly facing web servers we can identify the naming convention for those internal email addresses and then use that naming convention in conjunction with my new Bing Scraper script uh, to generate a massive list of emails or email addresses that we can send our phishing exploit to. Okay, so now that that's finished up, what we can see see is that we actually have a couple of different options here for potential email addresses. So we've got first name, last name at cable.comcast.com and then we also have some examples of first name underscore last name at comcast.com. So we'll go ahead and try both of those 
So what we're going to do is we're going to clear this out. And now that we've identified that, we'll switch over to my tool, which is our fish bait tool. Then run the Bing scraper. And once again, we'll look at the syntax. So we'll run that with our fourth option, which is first underscore last at suffix. So we'll run option four. And then first we'll do cable dot comcast dot com and then do comcast one dot txt and that's where it's going to output the contents and then it's going to ask me the company name so we will do comcast and then run it and immediately you'll see that it will start generating email addresses from all of these scrapable names And then, of course, because we saw a combination of both cable.comcast.com and comcast.com, we will want to try to synthesize emails for both of those. So we'll then do the same thing with just comcast.com. And we'll add that into comcast2.txt. And once again, name the company Comcast. Now, of course, this isn't flawless because of certain special characters or odd names that might be found from the Bing search. Um, you're going to have some that are not going to be successful. But, I mean, even if half or more than half of these emails are successful, you still have a large... Um, target of phishing addresses to send your attack to. Um, so now, once we've done that, we now have both of these files, comcast1.txt and comcast2.txt. So we'll go ahead and cat both of those. Anything, comcast anything. And then there's all our possible addresses, and then we will sort those by unique so that we don't have any repeats and then we can count the number that we have and here we now have 1907 potential email addresses that we can send our phishing attack at as opposed to just the 10 or 20 that we get from the harvester so that is how to use my new fish bait Bing scraper tool in order to generate a list of potential email targets for phishing campaigns. All right. Um, thanks for your time today, guys, and you guys take it easy.